Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Uh, Sue Redman has arrived, as I mentioned a moment ago. Sue. Hi, how Hi. are you? I am well. Yes, I didn't know it was pizza day until I was reminded by somebody in the house who happens to like pizza. Well, I didn't know. It was, it's International Pizza Day, huh? Well, it is. It's not only national, it's international yeah. pizza day. Yeah, so um, how long has that been going? Do you know much about it? No, I don't. I don't. I, in fact, I was saying the other day that I had no idea where, how these days got allocated to particular subjects mm. or who did the allocating. Yeah, where does that begin? Who is the allocator? Yeah, I want to know also. Does someone in the, <laughs> out there know who started it? Please let us know. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, it's a, it's but, a possibility. But, so everybody should be having pizza today. Well, yes, I'm not allowed to. My, 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 I'm not allowed to on my diet, you see. I've, I'm mm. on this for another month. So oh, then I, I, I've actually bought from Stugo's Pizza Arena, I bought some pizza surprise. I come bearing gifts, pizza. Oh, bless you. Yes. And my friend at Stugo's at Dulwich, um, Adrian, he, um, he's been there for about seven years now and he does the beautiful crispy bottoms with and and toppings, you know, nice toppings, yeah. and, and there are toppings on there. There's a lot of snobbery with pizzas, you know. And sure. I, when, when, I, when I used to eat a lot of pizza, I always had a ham and pineapple. Oh, no, I see. See, see I, I uh, omitted pineapple. Well, you, you see, don't have... I know, that's what people tell me. He's like, you're a, you're a, you're, you're a, are you a, serious? a peasant. You're, no, you're, no, serious, no, seriously, do you like pineapple on pizzas? Yes. Uh, well, I actually <laughs> omitted that when I was bringing, when I bought the pizza. I said, no, don't look, put look, pineapple no, no. on it. I'm used to, I'm used to being looked down on for having such <laughs> so, beer. So sorry about that. No, so sorry about no. that. But you know, I was just thinking, I was telling everyone about the Rising Sun Inn just a moment ago. Absolutely. And that was the last time... We sort of sat down at a table together. Just delightful. Now, I, would, I live just around the corner in Leebrook and so that's my little haunt. I just love it. I love the cosy notes. And you were saying that it's not to be mistaken, it's not that big, but it, it's got... It is big enough to be cosy, and it's got it's big enough to do anything you you really want because you used to run well, your yes, lunches there. Well, yes, I was just there. about to say um, I had my luncheons there for about two years, yeah. and it was just delightful. The food is is just gorgeous, just gorgeous, and the variety. Yeah. Well, the last time you and I were there, yes. we didn't want to have a big meal, so we just got all the nibbles. Yes, yeah, so it's well, more than just enough. Delightful. Absolutely, and the food is not expensive. And uh, they don't sort of uh, rob you behind the bar. They're very, yeah, very yeah. reasonable at yeah. every level, and I respect that. I, mm-hmm. I, I really do because, you know, too many people, you know, I'm sure get a shock when they get the account at the end of a night in a yes. restaurant. Well, yeah. that won't happen to you. Oh, uh, no, no. And listen, yeah. there's a little room that I've been in that seats um, probably about four or five, maybe even six, I think you get. Very so it's, it's Valentine's Day soon. Yes. And I'm just, I think that you could probably book the room, you know. Wouldn't mm. that be lovely? A beautiful, beautiful place to go on Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Beautiful, if you're looking for something cosy and yeah. delicious. I love the old world atmosphere generally. And yes. when I see a place like that that so embodies it mm. and keeps it alive, mm. it's very, it's very important. So, talking about restaurants, uh-huh. um, have, do you remember Manhattan Man- restaurant back in the eighties? No. Manhattan. Manhattan. It was actually before its time, and it was in Field Street. Um, Adrian, the one that owns Dugo's Pizza Arena, had Manhattan, and when I had my other business, um, Adelaide Bar Night Tours, we used to take people to different restaurants. Is that like a pub crawl? Excuse me, <laughs> I don't do pub crawls. Um, it's a coach Why and not, not a bus. Why not? Oh, well, it, it kind of it's progressive. Uh, progressive. A progressive. We'll call it that. So but we used to go to dance. Jules and Sinatra's and Bogart in the beginning and then we pile them back on the coach, serve them wine and, and then we go off to a restaurant. Pile them back on the coach or poured them back on the coach? No, no. They were very elegant. Uh-huh. Um, they had, we had lots of staff. I mean, by the, by the very, very, very mm. end, um, we were – well, not we, but they were happy. But um, – it was like boarding a plane on on our coach and yes. we were dressed in top hats and tails because it was called That's Entertainment Coach Tours. And You're very enterprising, aren't you? Very mm. entrepreneurial. I have this head that's full of ideas and mm. I don't know whether I'll live long enough to fulfil them. Oh, How, well, let's, however... Let's give it a good shake anyway. We will. We will. Um, the, the only trouble with that idea would be how do you 
get them out of one place Easy. back on the bus. I'm um, a back. We didn't have a problem because they didn't. They were looking forward to going to the next place. Oh. Um, and so it was. Oh, it was wonderful. We danced at the nightclub. Remember Pip's nightclub on King oh, William Road? Pip's. I think yes. it, I think he needs to get out the house more. Oh look, I, oh. it's always been a problem with me. I'm not. I do tend to stay home, stay put, get well, a little less not, trouble not that then. way. No, no, not back then. Not you back would've. then. You would have been in your young. You would have had your own restaurant. Oh yes. And you know what? I actually can I tell you this? Yeah. I went. With my beautiful husband, it was New Year's Eve. Was it the Vine? The Vine, well, the Vine Room. The vi- yeah. That I was went, where the grapevine ran, went rampant. And I met you. Rampant. You wouldn't have known me, but um, you were there and I, I actually met you on that night. I was only about 22, 23. Mm. I was barely older than that myself. I know. And now that I'm 30. Yes. And now that I'm 30. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, that was so beautiful. You were, Being in the restaurant field, I mean, you've certainly got the idea of um, and also how hard it is. Yeah. No, it's true. It, is that, it's all right, your phone. I know, and but I switched do it that. down. I did switch it down. You could take the call if you want. Uh, oh, 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 no, oh. that would be interesting, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> or you could get them to ring us here. And, yeah. yeah. But anyway. So, now tell me about this. Yes, yeah. yes. So Stugo Pizza. Now, do you remember a little while ago there was a pizza place that burnt down in Dulwich? And that was, mm. that was Adrian's. He'd only had it oh. for a short time and um, someone actually... Or a couple of guys threw some, it was in the news and everything. They interviewed him. They threw jerry cans of kerosene through the window. Was there a reason? Well, no. They no. just did it. That, that's the whole, no, no, no vendetta See, well, or whatever. That's, that's, you know, you go into business. It was business. terrible. But, you know, the community there around Dulwich, they were so lovely. They came together um, and um, it took six months for it to come back together. Mm. Um, but, you know, maybe it was good because everybody felt sorry for him and they started ringing up all the locals. Because that sort of area, they're very mm. community and they like to look after their own. But there, there are enough things working against you if you open a restaurant and try to run a restaurant, or probably any business at all. You just don't you don't expect something like that to jump well, out of the blue at you. No. That's not really um, yeah. very nice. I remember with my boutique, I mm. was only in my boutique on the parade for Is there anything you months? haven't done? Oh, just gonna, <laughs> well, well. Well, well, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a car went through my shop window. Oh. I got a call from the Bath you Hotel. You could have used the door. <laughs> It's 12 o'clock at night going, um, Stu, just ringing you, um, a car's just gone through your front window of your boutique. And I said, you what? So we raced over there and so we were there until... And Adrian, actually, Adrian used to own the uh, Odeon Star Cafe, my friend that owns Sugo's now. Mm-hmm. He came he came and met us and he was making us coffee and he cooked us breakfast because we were there tidying up until 6 in the morning. Yeah, well, um, how do you tidy disaster up Disaster follows like me. That? Drama follows me. Well, that's all right. I mean, as long as you, you can handle it, I'm sure you can. I, I, sometimes you just don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, it's true. You've got to take what life throws at you and... It can throw anything. Well, you now, get what, lemons, what, you make lemonade, don't you? Uh, well, that's, <laughs> it's all attitude, isn't it? Um, yeah. What am I looking at? Um, the, the well, Hugo's, the variety. Hugo Gourmet, uh, Gourmet Pizzas and there's the, is it, no, no, it's S-U-G-O, Sugo? Sugo, now, did you know what Sugo means? No. Oh, come on. No. You're a walking encyclopedia. No. I, I'm an, a walking encyclopedia. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different. Very different. And he's a comedian as well. Mm. Uh, now, Sugo is an Italian traditional tomato sauce. That's what oh, Sugo means. Oh, I wouldn't have known and that. And it's not the passata sauce. It's actually made from tomatoes and squeezed out and whatever. So Sugo, it's um, a tomato base, tomato okay, sauce. Okay, so uh, when you're making a pizza, I know that they put a, yes. a tomato paste there first. Oh, so you cook too, do you? No, no, I've just <laughs> observed it. I love it. I've observed. <laughs> love uh, it. Extra topping and you can have vegetarian, garlic. And also let's talk gluten-free. Now, oh, yes, I did yes. ask Adrian this morning, well, how is gluten-free going? And he just he said to me that it's actually, it is so big at the moment, um, gluten-free. So I think that people are not now, or restaurateurs and pizza places are, are accepting the fact there are people that, are gluten-free because sometimes you can't buy gluten-free mm. and if you say you're gluten-free, I've seen it with a friend, mm. they just roll their eyes and but mm. it's being a little bit more accepted. So um, if you are gluten-free, Stugo's at Dulwich, they do gluten-free 
um, pizza. Just delightful. Yep. No, no gluten in the, um, well, the it, crust. Yeah, that's correct. It's Greek, uh, Greek lamb, Greek chicken, uh, tandoori chicken. Mm, yum. Um, now that's yum, yummy. Yum, 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 that's yummy. It's, uh, um, chili. So it's more than just a pizza. He has um, an extensive menu. I mean, it's, it's an incredibly long mm. menu. Mexican, beetroot, Sicilian. Hawaiian. Hawaiian, that's the one I like. Oh, gosh, here we go. Yeah, mozzarella, shaved leg, of ham and the pineapple. Mm, well, if I'd known that, I would have got it for no, you. No, no, I'm not allowed to have it. No, uh, okay. no, no, okay. no. Okay. i got a month and a half to go and then... So what are you doing? With what? Why? What, <laughs> well, I'm just wondering your, your, your diet. Oh, what well, t- uh, all I'm doing is just sort of... Um, Getting healthy? Uh, well, I'm just losing kilos. I've got uh, two kilos to lose and then okay. I'm at the 12 stone uh, which I understand better than kilos 12 stone that's what I want to be it's what I've spent most of my life at so mm-hmm. I'm comfortable now I can go back and wear all the clothes that I'd never threw away okay. now I know are why you, are I you didn't a bit throw of a them away like me are you oh god yes oh, oh, oh. Don't mention we're going to be buddies here. partners in crime my, oh. my son always hey can I just mention that my son always calls me a hoarder and he's just moved out and he came home and he said mum do you have this do you have that? And I'm just going, reaching out, going, this, this. And I said, and by the way, if I wasn't a hoarder, I wouldn't have had them and you would have had to have bought them. So there you go. There's, no. there's something about hoarders. Look, I, every time I, oh, Caroline's holding up the clock. Uh, every time I throw something away. You want it. Uh, yeah, I know. I've, I, I need it. Yes, every me time, too. Every time. Lovely to see you. Thank you so w- much. When is your next you. lunch or dinner oh, or party? May the 20th. Can people ring you and ask you, can they come? Absolutely. That's how it works. Um, yeah, it does, we do set out quite, because we only have a table of 30. It's a boutique-style dinner. Are you full? Uh, uh, well, I haven't advertised it yet. Uh, you oh, just asked well, me, I'm right, advertising yeah. it now. Uh, and we go plug. to Jarmus, so it'll be really nice. Oh, that's the food's nice. excellent. Yeah. And we've got a surprise guest I'm uh-huh. interviewing. Mm. All right, okay. And the number to book? Um, to, I, to uh, well, you can actually, yeah. Um, well, you can send me an email. Um, it's Sue, luncheons at suredmond.com. Luncheons dot, at suredmond.com.au. Or if you're on Facebook, just um, ask for a friend request or speak to me off privately. Sue Redman, R E D M A N. That's good. It's a brave new world, I tell you. Mm. Uh, nobody rings up, nobody does anything. It's all done online. Like this program. Ah, huh. oh, sorry. Oh, no. we've got, got to get with it. Come on. We're online. It's all right. Uh, yeah, we're no, with it. you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Compliments to you. I don't understand it, but no, we're but with it. But that's okay. Yeah. You're learning fast. Uh, Andy Martin knows. <laughs> Tony knows. <laughs> that's what it is, a good team Les behind knows. you. That's they all, all know. you need. Oh, God, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for the pizza. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thanks, uh, Sugo. Okay, well, you, you, Sugo, thank you. Thank you, Sugo. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.